So, dear students, under the topic Lagrange's linear partial differential equation, we are solving problems under a method of grouping. So far, we have completed problem 1 to 4 and now here we have problem 5. The problem 5 is solve y square z p minus x square z q is equal to x square y. As the first step, mark this as equation 1 and then, so the Roman letter 1 and then com compare this with the standard form. What is the standard form of the Lagrange's type of partial differential equation? It is given by capital P small p plus capital Q small q is equal to capital R. So when we compare that, we get the value of capital P to be equal to. So when we compare it, we get that to be y square is z. So this is capital P and the value of capital Q. Now here we have plus and here we have minus. So we will have minus here and it is x squared is z. So this is capital Q. And what is capital R? It is x square y. So we have obtained P, Q and R after comparing with the standard form. The next step is we have to write the auxiliary equations. So the auxiliary equation is given by dx by capital P is equal to dy by capital Q is equal to dz by capital R. So while substituting the value of P, Q and R over here we get P is y square is z is equal to dy divided by capital Q is minus x square is z and that is equal to d is z divided by r which is x square y and do not forget to put this negative sign because it is very important. So uh, this is uh, x square d z by x square y. So we have obtained the auxiliary equations. Now we will take this as 1, this as 2 and this as 3. Now we will compare these equations and get the solution. First, let me compare equation 1 and 2, but it is of completely your choice. You can choose 1 and 2 or 1 and 3 or 2 and 3 as well. It is completely of our choice. So, I am choosing 1 and 2 and I am comparing. So, when we compare 1 and 2, I am taking and writing 1 here. y square is z is equal to dy by negative x square is z. I observe that I can cancel z on both the sides. And I want to gather all the x terms one side and all the y terms another side which is known as variable separable method. So when I gather all the x, x terms one side I cross multiply over here and I get x squared dx is equal to and this y squared gets cross multiplied over here and we have a negative sign on the right. So negative y squared dy. So you now integrating on both the sides what we get is what is the integration of x square? It is x cube by 3 is equal to minus what is the integration of y square? It is y cube by 3 plus a constant c1. And now from this I can take this negative y cube by 3 to my left and I can write it as x cube by 3 plus y cube by 3 is equal to c1. Now anyway the LCM going, is going to remain the same and so we have x cube plus y cube divided by 3 is equal to c1 and from this we get x cube plus y cube is equal to 3c1. But anyway again 3c1 is going to be a constant. So anyway that is a constant so I am going to write it as x cube plus y cube is equal to a general constant c1 so that the solution u will be equal to c1 which is x cube plus y cube. So therefore we have obtained solution u. In a similar manner, we have to obtain solution V by comparing other two equations. So, I am going to make a choice of equation 2 and 3. You can make a choice of equation 1 and 3 as well. So, I am going to compare equation 2 and 3. So, let us do that now. So, while comparing equation 2 and 3, I am taking and writing equation 2 first. So, x squared z is equal to the third one is d z by x squared y. So I have taken and written this. Now we have to see whether any terms gets cancelled. Yes, this x square gets cancelled on both the sides. Now we will gather all the y terms to the left and all the uh, z terms to the right. So when we do so, this y comes to the left and we get y dy is equal to this minus z goes to the right and we get minus z dz on the right now if we, you know, because we have done variable separable method, we have separated the variables together. Now uh, we will integrate on both the sides. So when we integrate on the left hand side, 
we have y dy and what is the integration of y it is y squared by 2 is equal to on the right you have is z and you have a negative sign also so minus is z squared divided by 2 and plus some constant c2 and now bringing this z squared by 2 to the left we have y squared by 2 plus z squared by 2 is equal to some constant c2 after taking lcm and taking the 2 on the right we will be having y square plus z squared is equal to 2c2 anyway 2c2 is also going to be a constant again which i will generally represent as c2 itself and so we will have y squared plus z squared to be equal to c2 itself so this is the second solution so therefore the solution v is equal to c2 which is y squared plus z squared is what what we have obtained so finally we have obtained the solution u and the solution v as well now we will write the general solution which is phi of u comma v is equal to 0 what is u u is x cube by 3 so x i mean x cube plus y cube so x cube plus y cube comma v is y squared plus z squared is equal to 0 if you compare uh, 2 and 3 first then the solution will be phi of y square plus z square comma x cube plus y cube equal to 0 even that is also a correct solution or you may involve here we have x y and y z and if you compare first and third you will have a combination of x and z even that is also a correct solution only because the solution can be in, in uh, any way as per the comparison of the equations so uh, do not worry if you don't get this same solution while comparing the other two equations anyhow if you get a uh, get an answer of this form it will be a correct answer only so hope you have understood this problem for more problems uh, kindly watch the next our next upcoming videos thank you